Earthquakes can be devastating, leaving rubble and ruin where people once worked and lived. It's up to civil engineers to make sure our structures can stand up to Mother Nature. Ray Clough's development of the finite element method revolutionized the field of structural analysis, making the world a safer place to be. Everywhere we look, we see the work of civil engineers in the roads in which we travel, the parks in which we play, the buildings in which we live and work. Ray Clough was drawn to a career in civil engineering for the opportunity to solve challenging problems and serve the public. But as an avid outdoorsman and rock climber who was among the first to conquer the Ptarmigan Traverse in the Cascade Mountains, he also saw a chance to get away from his desk. Started out thinking I was going to be an aeronautical engineer. And I did work at Boeing a little bit. But as a civil engineer, you get sent out where the work is to be done. If I was an aeronautical engineer, I'd be sitting at a drafting board most of my life. That just didn't sound good to me. After Clough left Boeing to get out into the field as an engineer for the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, he quickly developed a passion for hydroelectric dams, huge structures that are incredibly difficult to design and build. Grand Coulee was the first one I had any real contact with. That's a very massive structure. Tons and tons of concrete, and of course it covers a long extent across the river. Unlike most buildings, which are constructed with right angles, dams are a hodgepodge of strange shapes and slopes. Clough realized that traditional structural analysis methods were useless in dam design, a lack that made them vulnerable to cracking and breaking under the stress of holding back millions of tons of water, especially in the event of an earthquake. The problem is to have the dam continue to resist the uh, water while the earthquake is going on. There have been some instances of dams being broken by earthquakes. Clough decided to develop a new engineering tool that he called finite element analysis. Building upon the methods of his colleague John Argyris, Clough broke the enormous dam into tiny parts, or elements, that could be analyzed individually and then added together to find the properties of the whole structure. Now, I was quite convinced it would work. If you cut your pieces up small enough, and if you get enough of them, you can represent anything. <laughs> In fact, finite element analysis could be used for any kind of structure, large or small, from huge dams and bridges to tiny parts for jet engines and space telescopes. But coming up with a method was only the beginning. In order to make it usable, Clough and his group of engineers at the University of California at Berkeley also had to become computer programmers because only computers had the ability to add up the properties of all of the tiny elements quickly. And I was trying to do these kinds of analyses with my slide rule and simple calculators and stuff like that. But it's totally impractical without a, a reasonably good computer. Since the advent of powerful computers in the 1960s, finite element analysis has transformed the field of engineering, allowing engineers to test and perfect their designs via computers before reaching the assembly line. Aeronautical engineers at Boeing, where Clough started his career, have used finite element analysis for everything from passenger planes to fighter jets. In fact, it is an essential and invaluable tool in the blueprints of everything from the cars that we drive to the roads and bridges that we drive on, and much more. And even with his legacy in place, Ray Clough continued to take his place out in the field, lending his expertise to the construction of earthquake-proof dams and buildings in locations from the United States to China, working tirelessly to make the world a better and safer place. I guess the first thought I always had was, get it right, don't make mistakes. Typical engineer, if you see something doesn't work well, you try to figure out a way to make it better. The 2006 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Civil Engineering is awarded to Ray W. Clough for revolutionizing engineering and scientific computation and engineering design methods through his formulation and development of the finite element method and for his innovative leadership in applying the method to the field of earthquake engineering with special emphasis on the seismic performance of dams.